All right, good evening. This is Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 1028 in the evening on Tuesday, Monday, January 4th. Monday, January 4th, 1028 in the evening. And we are going to go over the quakes that hit during the last 24 hours and then give you the forecast for 30 different countries around the world. Here we go. All right, share the screen and we're going to go over here first. All right, we've got two quakes in Northeast Chile. One was a 4.5 and a 4.4, and those are right up here in Antofagasta in this 80% risk area. And we had a, a 4.7 hit on the border of Costa Rica and Panama. And that was right here in the, I think it was about 35% risk area. So that was not a hit. All those quakes we were getting here in uh, Guatemala have pretty much dissipated. That risk has uh, decreased there. And we got a quake here southeast of Zagreb, close to Bosnia Herzegovina. That was a 4.4. And that was close to our, well, actually, it was in the 90% risk area. Our highest risk was in Bosnia Herzegovina, East Central Italy. So that sort of verified that. The quake should have been down here. All right, and in Southern California, we've got a 4.0 in uh, the Salton Sea area and a bunch of other quakes. Actually, there was a swarm of quakes down there. And that was on this fourth into the fifth forecast. This is right down here in the 95% risk area there. Now we're gonna start with the California forecast. Again, the fourth into the fifth. Uh, there still is a possibility of some uh, action. They're getting some small ones northwest of LA. Still a possibility for this 95% risk area, uh, 4.5 to 5.5 there. And then the new forecast, fourth into the fifth, takes us over into uh, east of LA, down to the Salton Sea, where that's a hot spot. Could produce a 4.5 to 5.5 there. And then the risk begins to uh, dissipate a little bit on the fifth into the sixth with a risk from 95 goes down to 90% risk area in Southeast California. So look for something significant either Northwest of LA tonight or later on tonight and tomorrow down here near the Salt Sea. All right, over in Alaska, uh, there's a risk down here near uh, Juneau and Ketchikan and Moresby Island down here, Moresby Island, Ketchikan. And um, that's for the next uh, 24 hours or so. And 60% risk right there near Anchorage, just northwest of Anchorage during the next 24 hours. And then the risk continues there, about 55% risk and higher risk out here in Western Alaska. And then in Chile, La Serena. This here is La Serena, 80% risk there in the next 24 hours, next 48 hours. Uh, that risk rises to 90% east of La Serena, central Chile. Over in Italy, the third and the fourth is pretty much gone. I think it's now in the fifth over there now. So we'll go with this forecast here. And down in the western part of Sicily, we could get a 4.0 there. And then the fifth into the sixth, we could get a 4.0 west of Naples. And in Japan forecast, uh, the risk is uh, here near Ibaraki, Chiba, and Tokyo. Uh, we could get a 4.0 to 4.5, maybe a 5.0 out here farther east during the next 24 hours, and that risk diminishes on the fifth into the sixth. All right, down in the Philippines, 75% risk here, about a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible around the Manila, Philippines area, the fourth into the fifth. And then that risk diminishes on the fifth into the sixth. In uh, Athens, Greece forecast, most of the risk is in the far north here. And then on the fifth and the sixth, we could get a 4.0 in uh, up near Albania, Northern Albania. Central America, all right. 
So that risk is pulling out of Guatemala on the third and the fourth. Now the fourth and the fifth, this is the most current, current forecast. We could get a 5.0 offshore. And then on the fifth and the sixth of January, we could get a 5.5, maybe even a 6.0 in the southern, far southern portion of Mexico, west of Guatemala. You can see it right there. You can go over to quickprediction.com and check out all these maps. 90% of the advertisements now are, are not are gone on quickprediction.com, so it's easy to navigate. You can see right here, there's no ads. Here. All right. And then after Central America, let's go over to the Ecuador Peru forecast and a very significant risk here in the northwest part of Peru on the fourth into the fifth and still on the fifth into the sixth. So with that significant amount, we could see a 5.0 to 5.5, maybe larger in northwest Peru during the next 48 hours. Indonesia. Indonesia is still that risk offshore of central Sumatra, west of there. Still could produce a 5.0 offshore there. And then that risk kind of pulls away there and falls to 40% central Sumatra on the 5th and 6th. Okay, in Taiwan, the uh, Risk is uh, on the southern portion of the Ryukyu Islands here, northeast of Taiwan, during the fourth and the fifth. And then on the fifth and the sixth, we could get a 5.0 in the southwest portion of Taiwan on the fifth and the sixth of January. The Caribbean forecast is looks like uh, the, the British Virgin Islands here could get a 4.0 during the next 48 hours. You can see the US and the Virgin Islands here. We could get a 4.0 possible there. And the state of Washington, the Seattle, Washington, Idaho, Oregon forecast, 3.5 is possible in the southwest portion of Idaho, Idaho here. And then uh, another 3.5 is possible in the, in the southeast portion of Idaho on the 5th and the 6th. And there's some risk up here in the Vancouver Island on the 5th and the 6th of January. Uh, 4.5 to 5.0 is possible up there in Vancouver Island. All right, we have the Turkey, Syria, uh, Iraq forecast here. It looks like uh, northern Iraq and northern Iran could get a 5.0 during the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, fourth and the fifth. And then uh, that sort of diminishes there. And then it gets kind of quiet in the fifth and the sixth. So during the next 24 hours, we could see some action either in southeast Turkey or most likely in northern Iraq, 5.0 is possible there. One more forecast to look at is the Hawaiian forecast. Most of the risk is in the far north part of Hawaii during the fifth and the sixth. So not a whole lot of concentrated risk in that area. One more time in the Los Angeles area, we could get a 4.5 to 5.5 Northwest of LA tonight. And then on the uh, 5th of January, we could get a 4.5 to 5.5 down in the Salton Sea and east of LA area and uh, centered around uh, Palm Springs, fifth, fourth and the fifth, and the fifth and the sixth that moves into southeast California, northeast of the Salton Sea on the fifth and the sixth. All right, thank you very much for joining us tonight here at quakeprediction.com on January 4th, Monday, January 4th. We'll be talking to you tomorrow at the same time and we'll uh, give you updates on what's happened during the last 24 hours. Thanks again for subscribing and uh, watching our videos. We'll keep you up to date. If there's just, uh, some kind of a strong earthquake, we're going to be giving you uh, the news regarding that quake uh, from around the world, from NPR or CNN, whatever. We'll be keeping you updated on all the earthquakes here at quakeprediction.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice evening. And we'll talk to you Tuesday night. Thank you so much.